All right, so in order to punch faster without actually being fast, I'm gonna base this off uh, fighting people who are not experienced. A lot of people that you see in the street, they're throwing these wild punches trying to take your head off, right? Yeah, so all we're gonna do is make our punches as tight as possible, like this. And without even being fast, that saves you so much time. Not only that, you'll have more endurance in the fight automatically. And that's always a good thing. So this is what we're gonna practice. Um, kind of like, uh, just uh, hold your, rest your arms kind of on your ribs. And if you've ever seen Rock'em Sock'em Robots, you're kind of kind of punch like that, just straight. And when you're punching, you want to punch eye level. You want to keep your hands kind of at your eyebrows and punch eye level. Like an alligator swimming through the water. And you know how the eyes are just right over the water? That's how I want your hands to be, the water. All right? Okay. So let's practice this. We're going to start with the jab. And we're just going to do rock and sock and robots, okay? So let's just do that. And uh, move around while I strike. Because you don't want to be a, just a person right here who gets hit. Even if you have good blocking, boom. Uh, you want to make it harder for him to hit you, right? So you want to have good blocking, good head movement, and good footwork. So let's practice this. You don't want to bring your elbow out. Bring it, have your elbow in. And at the very last second, Turn that hand down. You want to push it down. Everyone wants to punch through their target, but punching to your target is good enough. So when you're punching, rock and sock and robot tight. And right when you get to the chin, you go down. And as fast as you punch, bring it twice as fast back. So let's practice this some more. Move around. Get some head movement. Get some head movement. <laughs> Tight punches, okay? Ha, ta, ta. And that's how you become a faster puncher without being fast.